Previously, we've got the GoPygo assembled. We've got it hooked up and connected to Wi-Fi. And our computer is on the same network um, as, uh, as the GoPygo. So I'm going to log into the computer through VNC. First thing I'm going to do is actually open up Terminal and just ping uh, the GoPygo. Just type in Terminal, pull that up, and I ping Raspberry Pi. Dot local. We'll do the same thing in a Mac uh, that we would do in a PC. We would just do this from the command line. Um, and I'm getting a response when I ping it. So I feel comfortable that I'm connected to the uh, to the Raspberry Pi to go Pi Go. Um, just as some backup, I've got VNC installed. You can get VNC Viewer, and I'll put some links in the video. I'm using the Dexter Industries image, so we've got our four gigabyte micro SD card with Raspbian. It has everything set up um, for Scratch and for easy networking. Um, and we, like I've said, we've got the GoPyGo built. We've essentially gone through the getting started section, steps one: assembling the GoPyGo, putting the SD card together, or using the Dexter Industries image. We're powered up, and we're connected to the GoPyGo at this point. So, we'll fire up VNC and we'll connect to the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to connect to VNC Viewer. And I've got Raspberry Pi dot local colon one. So we're connecting on port one as the, uh, as the server. So if I hit connect, it should prompt me if it's connected for the uh, the password and I'm not too worried about national security secrets so I'm gonna accept the unencrypted uh, connection and the password is Raspberry for the, if you're using the Raspberry Pi image from Dexter Industries so hit OK and boom I've got uh, got my desktop here so let's take a look this is left over and running on the desktop from me connecting it earlier So after I've logged into the GoPi Go over VNC, I'll see these three icons with Scratch, and I'm most concerned about the GoPi Go Scratch start. So if I double, the first thing I'm going to do is run the background program for running Scratch. And this will communicate between Scratch and the GoPi Go. So we'll start that. If I double click on it, see it comes up in LX terminal and you get a message saying Scratch is neither not opened, but you see that it's trying, so we've got a connection error, and that's fine. So, next thing I want to do is open up an example program for Scratch, and I'm going to go to GoPyGo Go on the desktop, and I'm going to go to software on the desktop, and rather than go to Python, I'm going to go to Scratch. And in Scratch, I'm going to run some examples. So we'll try the GoPyGo basic test.sb. And if I double click on this, it should open up in Scratch. See the example opens up. You see a nice car. The remote sensors uh, uh, connections are enabled. Great. So let's go back real quick to the LX terminal that we had running with the background program. We'll see that we're sort of connected. So if I pull that up, we see right after the last error, we see connected to Scratch successfully. So with my GoPyGo Go running, I can test out some of the LEDs. You can see how we've structured the program in here. Um, it's just going to respond to the keyboard. So an up arrow will move it forward. Uh, left arrow, when that's, uh, it'll tell the GoPyGo Go to go left. And it'll say left up here on the, um, on the Scratch screen. And I can also control some of the... some of the different keys here. We can kind of hear in the background. If you hit the, the space key, it'll stop it. So um, 
we can test the LEDs by hitting an L, the right, LED, right LEDs are off, and a K where the right LEDs are on. So if I go back and forth, I can turn those on and off. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can look at this example, and uh, you can see all of the controls are labeled um, in pretty understandable language. Um, whether you go, the go by go goes right or left or forward or back, increasing the speed, controlling the LEDs, um, uh, all of the motion and output controls are sort of demonstrated in this program. Uh, that's a uh, GoPyGo underscore basic underscore test. So here I've got just to show you the GoPyGo in action. I've got the Scratch program up and running on VNC. On the, so I'm logged into the Raspberry Pi with VNC. You can see instructions on how to do that on our website. And I've got the Go by Go, I've got it upside down so I can demo it without it running around um, on my desk and running into my laptop. But let's, uh, we'll try hitting the L, L key. The K and the L are gonna control LEDs. So if I hit that, make sure that I'm here. There we go. So I'm turning it, turning the LED off with the L and then the K turns it on and the L turns it off. So K, L, hitting that on my laptop here. And I can see the GoPyGo turning on and off. The GoPyGo LED turning on and off. And let's try running forward. So that's gonna increase our speed. The arrow speeds are gonna actually control our direction. So if I hit uh, f forward, maybe I'll bring this a little bit closer so you can see the scratch screen moving with the GoPyGo. If I hit the back button, it goes backwards. If I hit the left, it goes to the left, and to the right, it goes to the right. Forward, it goes forward, backwards, and then spacebar again to stop. That's pretty much it. You can see, if you look through the code, as I said earlier, you can see how the different controls are set up and um, uh, how you can get Scratch to communicate with the GoPyGo and sort of control the, uh, the GoPyGo. All right, let's throw in one bonus demo and see if I can do this without destroying my computer here. Keeping my pinky on the space bar because that should stop motors. Whoa. Let's see if I bring that from the edge. <laughs> cool, we'll stop. Try going the other way. Eh, hey, that's pretty much it. And then you can turn LEDs on and off. So that's it. That's starting uh, your first Scratch program with the GoPyGo Go and controlling it with the Raspberry Pi.